Hello everyone and welcome to the Royal Regency mini-series, a series inspired by Bridgerton and Pride and Prejudice and I guess anything in the Regency era. This series we will be using the Regency Romance mod by James Sims Den and this is also a spin-off of my main Royal Family series so if you're new here I will link that in the description below and I'm so excited for this series. This first episode is going to be introductions, we're going to have a debutante ball and we will see who is this season's incomparable. So let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I should also mention now that this is not going to be completely historically accurate. It is The Sims. I am working with what I have. It's also a made-up world with made-up kingdoms that are inspired by real-life things, but essentially they are made up, so please don't expect everything to be historically accurate. Again, this is a spin-off of my main royal family series, and when I first had my sim save file like eight years ago, I had three main kingdoms. Windenburg, Willow Creek, and Oasis Springs. So that is who we have in this series here. So we have in the center our Windenburg King and Queen, that is King Kellen and Queen Isla. On the left, we have King Hans and Queen Ingrid of Willow Creek. And on the right, we have King Jared and Queen Irina from Oasis Springs. The names might not also be completely accurate because it felt weird to change all the names, but back then I didn't know I was going to have my series on YouTube, so I, I kind of just named them whatever. Just a heads up, that is a pattern that you will see. But we're starting out this season, we have new debutantes and new bachelors, and some of the bachelors and debutantes, this is not their very first season, some of them it is their first season. I'm using the control any sim mod to control the monarchs of every kingdom so they will stay, but we have in Windenburg. Prince Henry, he is the crown prince, he is the future king, and his sister, Princess Emily. Emily, this is her first season, so this is her coming out to society while that her family threw for her. They're very excited. This is not Henry's first season, but he has not found a match yet, so he is back at again. We will be seeing everyone else who will be joining the ball in a moment, but first, we are going to have presentations, which is a rabbit hole, but we will see what the... It says the queen has to say about the sims who are presented, but we are going to say that it is all three sovereigns. Imagine having three, no, six sovereigns judging you. That sounds terrifying. And although it is not Henry and others' first time coming out into society, I'm still going to have them be presented to the queen, to the monarchs. We'll say that they have to do that every season if they haven't found a match yet, which isn't correct completely, but you know. So we're going to have them be presented to the queen slash the monarch. So we'll just pretend that they like enter the start of this ball is them all being presented and then they party for the rest of the night. All right, so mailbox regency, be presented to the queen and same thing for Emily. I feel like obviously it'd be biased to have them judge their children. So maybe that judgment counts more on the other monarchs, but then again, they wouldn't want to like be on the bad side of each other. So maybe they would just all say good things about their children. We'll have to see. Okay, so they are currently in a rabbit hole. Henry is being presented to the queen slash the monarchs and so is Emily. So we're gonna see what's said about them. I am going to control these other Sims, the young adults that are, I guess technically back then they would have been like teenage age, like our our day teenagers, but they're young adults here. So we have Prince William. He is the crown prince of Willow Creek and Prince Neil, his younger brother, who are also going to be presented. And then for the children of Oasis Springs, we have the crown prince Sahar, the eldest daughter, Princess Amaya, and then twins, Princess Gia and Princess Evita. So they are all going to be presented to the monarchs too. Okay, so being presented to the monarchs took so much longer than I thought it would. It's like 4 a.m. right now. But here's the tea so far, you guys. We're gonna have to redo this ball. That is fine. I the, the, These presentations, even though this is a rabbit hole, this is actually great. Okay, so all the princes and princesses that I've introduced you guys to, they have made their entrance into society and we also have some other nobles who are making their entrances as well. There are a lot of sims. We will have our main focus of sims just so it doesn't get too confusing so you guys might hear some names but don't worry i'm gonna make 
sure it's not like too much for you guys so you guys will kind of hear about people over time but it seems like for the most part it went well so far princess g of oasis springs hers went well prince william of willow creek the crown prince his went well now princess amaya of oasis springs the eldest daughter of king jared and queen irena she is supposed to be the most poise she had a clumsy moment it says a young person's entrance to society may be their most defining moment unfortunately for miss sue that was entirely bungled in an act of clumsiness those in attendance disagree on the particulars but one thing is clear miss sue's beautiful okay she's actually not wearing white because oasis springs loves color so uh her beautiful white garment or her beautiful garment is now irre irre Terribly stained. She should take better care going forward, lest she continue to be the source of the ton's gossip. Y'all, that is wild because she's so different from her two twin sisters. Not her, she's not a twin, but her younger sisters who are twins, and they're the like wild one, clumsy one. They must be kind of smug that their older sister, who's like known for being perfect and poised, the one time she trips was like one of the most important moments of her life and she stained her dress? <laughs> Okay, so that happened. Also, if you want to know what it says for the ones that entered society where, like, nothing bad or good happens, it says, like, for example, Prince Neil has officially made his debut. While he can now enjoy the delights of good society, Prince Neil is now subject to the watchful eyes of the ton. Tread carefully, or else his behavior may portend a scandal. Now, our first incomparable is Prince Henry, the Crown Prince of Winnenberg. It is unseemingly to expect praise from anyone, much less her majesty slash his mother slash his dad and aunt and uncle. Um, I'll talk about that in a sec. <laughs> and their close friends. Um, yet, to reject such compliments would be unthinkable. When Mr. Windenberg made his entrance to society, her majesty took but one look and declared him flawless. As the season's incomparable, Mr. Windenberg must take special care as the ton's eyes rest on him alone. As for his younger sister, Princess Emily of Windenberg, she has made her debut. Nothing went bad. She wasn't declared incomparable, but I think for her, she was nervous about this anyway, so she's just glad that she didn't trip or mess up or, like, anything bad happen. So she is very happy. Princess Evita of Oasis Springs, hers went well. Crown Prince Sahara of Oasis Springs, the heir, his went well. Next! The next uncomparable is Lady Ezra of Willow Creek. She is the granddaughter of the past king and queen of Willow Creek, and she's going to be one of our main characters. So here's the thing, and uh, I apologize if, if you guys don't, like, I, it, it, there's spoilers and the ending is technically decided. However, we have some wiggle room. So there's a family tree I am going to link below because these are the ancestors of my current royals. I have to stick technically to the family tree. So their end games are already decided because it's already happened. But again, there's wiggle room. There might be some other things and other romances that happened before then. Or maybe on the tree, it is what people, uh, what they wanted them to believe and not actually true. We have wiggle room. But Lady Ezra is an incomparable. And so is Crown Prince Henry. And so Spoiler alert! Lady Ezra is the future queen of Winnenberg. I'm shocked! I'm shocked that they're both incomparables! That is like meant to be much? Okay, moving on. What other news do we have? Lady Ella, we will see more of her. Lady Ella of Willow Creek, hers went well. Lady Elisa of Oasis Springs, hers went well. Lady Gwen of Willow Creek, hers went well. Lady Raina of Winterberg, hers went well. Oh no, no way. Okay, Lady Adeline of Willow Creek. My stream knows when we made these Sims, she was another one that is like, she's a little snobby and stuck up. She also tripped. She also was entirely bungled in an act of clumsiness. My two really poised characters both tripped and stained their dresses. That is shocking. All right, and Lord Kingston's went well. All right, so we are now officially having the ball for the new debutantes, the new bachelors. Now I am also going to have Henry declare his intent to marry. So by doing this, it will probably have a 
bunch of people trying to, what are they, like suitors coming to him. And I don't know how many of them are going to be at the ball or if they're just going to be random and showing up at the doorstep. Of course, we're going to have to deal with the Sims probably on their phone and some townies that are not dressed in correct clothes. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to look past that detail. Let's see, declare intent to marry. I'm so curious what kind of interactions this will. Oh, Prince Henry Windenberg has publicly declared his intent to marry. He may now receive visits and invitations from prospective suitors. Okay, so now we have to see who's going to be a suitor. We do have some people starting to dance. This is part of the mod. So this is Emily, the Princess of Windenburg, and Crown Prince Ahar. They are cousins though, so I don't, I think the Sims will just dance. It doesn't have to be romantic. Like sometimes they might dance with their parent or for their sibling. You know, sometimes when everyone's dancing, they're like, hey, we need to talk. Let's go dance or something like that. So just because they're dancing doesn't mean it's romantic. Although royals did marry their cousins back then. However, that will not be the case for Emily and Sahar. Now, because there are so many Sims, I don't want this to be confusing for people. So we are just going to have the main family that we focus on and we will get to see bits and pieces of others. So our main ones here, the main story we're going to follow is Henry and his sister Emily. And then we will again see a little bit of the Oasis Springs Royals and the Willow Creek Royals along with them as well. But now that Henry has declared his intent to marry, okay, I do feel like his parents would encourage him to talk to the other incomparable. And I feel like they would encourage him to go talk to Lady Eliza because she made, or not Eliza, Lady Ezra, um, because she made such an amazing impression and she's been declared the other incomparable. I'm sure Ezra has other suitors going for her too, but let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Also, some of the feathers disappeared, which I'm really sad about, but it looks like Lady, or Princess Emily has her feathers. Looks like Lady Ella has her feathers too. She's a new debutante, but um, there's, oh my gosh, King Hond is in a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, where did you even get that from? What are you doing? This is so funny to me. Hans is her uncle. Okay, okay, the face mask just randomly disappeared. But Hans is actually her uncle. He's probably trying to find a good suitor for her too. So it looks like Ezra is already talking to Lord Louis. Maybe Henry is like, oh, I should steal her. <gasps> wait, Henry, wait, Henry's dancing with someone else. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. Maybe Ella asked him to dance. Y'all, what? Oh my gosh, now it, okay, I think Emily's just practicing her dancing with all of her cousins. She's now practicing her dancing with Amaya, who is Zahara's sister, that's her other first cousin. Okay, so definitely, I thought that he was going to ask Ezra to dance, but I guess, I, I feel like Ella probably asked him to dance. She's so pretty. She is beautiful. She's one of the few that got to keep her feathers. I don't know what happened to the other ones. Ask to court. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay, new personality trait. Emily's family oriented, sure. Oh my gosh, Amaya and Emily, I feel like they would get along really, really well. I, Amaya was supposed to be poised. Maybe Amaya is like confiding in her with what happened earlier. Oh my gosh, okay, so I think Henry is done dancing with Ella. Now, is this a romantic thing? I don't know, is she going to start enthused about new albums? Let's talk to her about music. We can make a flirtatious joke. Let's just, let's just test the waters, you know? We know who the end games are, so let's like, you know, the whole series is, it's the journey. It's not the results, it's the journey. So let's take a little journey, let's take a little detour, tour. let's try flirting. <laughs> have Sims become flirty at the same time, we have two Sims flirty. Oh my gosh, play cards or darts? Yes. Oh yeah, apparently gambling was a huge thing back then. Um, there's a way for us to gamble with the card table. I don't know, some people might gamble away all of their money or their estates. They might gamble away some dowries. You can do a pickup line. Okay, things are going really well. Oh no, chaos rules. Does Prince Henry like mischievous? Is he our mischievous crown prince? If that's what he's like, okay. Uh-oh, I'm a little scared. He's mischievous. She also has this, two left feet from dancing. It happens to everyone. One moment you're dancing, the next your partner's howling in pain. At least Princess Emily hopes it happens to everyone. Okay, so maybe that's why she was practicing with her cousin. I feel like 
Emily is, I mean, she's a princess, so she's kind of had to deal with this her whole life, but I do feel like she's a bit, is she clumsy? Is that one of her traits? It is not, but she's socially awkward, so she's not good around people. She's gloomy, she's unflirty, she's neat and family oriented. Some of the traits that come with the mod is aristocracy, wealthy, member of the ton. This sim has made her entrance to society while on her, on the marriage mart, Princess Emily will be subject to the watchful eyes of the ton. So she also should, do you have to declare intent? You do, okay, so declare intent to marry. So Emily's going to have some suitors as well. I'm sure she'll have a lot because she is a princess. They wanna marry into royalty. So she is probably gonna have a lot of suitors, not all of them with the best intentions. We're gonna have to find the right one for her. Um, how is it going, Henry and Elle? They're still, wow, y'all are still chatting. Oh my gosh, we have King Jared and Queen Irina. Look at them dancing. They've been dancing like a lot together. I love that for them. I think I feel like they're like a very happily married couple. Oh my gosh, King Hans and Queen Ingrid are also dancing with each other. Okay, it's very autonomous for a lot of it. There's a lot of family members dancing with each other too. Anyway, um, okay, so Ezra, oh, I wish her feathers stayed in. I'm so sad it didn't. But we're gonna do a gentlemanly introduction. I feel like he probably knows Ezra a bit. Maybe he just hasn't talked to her too much, but she is the granddaughter of the previous king and queen of Willow Creek. So they've probably met in, in royal passing. So they're chatting now. Let's see, Regents asked to court. I think that's really soon. Ask to dance. He's like, may I have this dance? So they've met. I'm curious how this is going to go. I also just love watching the animations in general. I think it's very cool that this mod has them. I'd love to learn more about Ezra. I picked her traits, but I don't remember what they were. Um, let's see, deep thoughts, interests, discuss interests, ask what she likes. Now for Emily. Okay, Emily's gonna be having a bit of a rough, oh, hello, Sahar, dancing by yourself, sir. Um, Emily is unflirty and she's socially awkward. So I don't know how well this is going to go. I wish, th okay, Emily, maybe you should just come out here because I want someone to ask her to dance. Oh my gosh, she get oh, 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 wait, did y'all see that look? Did y'all see that look? She just looked at Prince William as he walked by. Thanks for coming. Hmm, thanks for coming. I don't know, I feel like she wouldn't approach him. Can someone introduce you to people? I saw that look she gave to William. You can ask about another sim. I don't, what would you ask about? Are you, I mean, I think you're very curious to how things are going with your daughter. You guys aren't super close, discuss interest. Just, you know, ask, hey, is there anyone who catches your eye? Do you want me to introduce you to somebody? And I feel like Emily is like, mother, please, I, I, I can't, this is, this is very hard for me. I need you to stop. Oh, she's hugging her. All right, she's asking if anyone is caught her eye. How's things going? Henry and Ezra, they are still dancing with each other. I don't know. Okay, if Emily was eyeing William, I don't think she would approach him first. That's definitely not something she would do. I'd like for him to come to her. Or is there anybody else that catches your eye? Okay, her mom is pushing her to introduce herself to people. So this is the first guy I see right here. A ladylike introduction. Let's see how this goes. The queen is introducing. She's coming with her daughter. She's like, hey, Duke Emmett. You know, not not hey, but a much more ladylike and elegant introduction. <laughs> Socially awkward lesson, Princess Emily is socially awkward, these sims may struggle in certain social situations and can have a hard time communicating with others. While they are nervous around groups of unfamiliar sims, they thrive when surrounded by familiar faces. So she's very much not having familiar faces right now. Sahar, oh, while Henry, oh, he's in a group conversation right now. He stopped dancing with Ezra, but he's talking to King, Han King, okay, King Hans is like chaperoning his niece, which I kind of like. There's a lot of uh, mothers here who are chaperoning Roning, but Ezra's mother is here, or she should be here somewhere, but it looks like while she's not here, the king is chaperoning his niece, and then this is Lady Elisa, so she is 
There's a lot of cousins, y'all. I okay, so I I I linked the family tree below. I don't know if you all want me to keep saying who's cousins. I feel like I should. Part of me is like, oh, so people don't ship them, but the other part of me is like, they're they're royals. They definitely married their cousins. Although maybe Henry gets away to go gamble because that is something that we are supposed to do. So gamble, play cards, high stakes. We have a lot of money. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, y'all. What if all the heirs were gambling with each other. Oh my gosh, what if they all were gambling in the other room? I feel like their parents would not be happy about this, but I mean, Henry just got the mischief interaction, so maybe this is happening. This is happening. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's an air off. The three heirs gambling against each other. Who will win? <gasps> Henry lost 1,455 simoleons. Wow, that was fast. Are you all guys still gambling? So there's a chance he's going to lose more? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, all right. Well, Ella. Oh my gosh. She lost more. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, during that hand of cards. Oh my god. Okay, well, anyway, so him and Ella, they were chatting, and Ezra and him were chatting. Him and Ezra have a higher friendship right now. Were there any other suitors? I don't think so. Oh, and this is Lady Elena. That is Ezra's mother. So she was supposed to be chaperoning, but King Han stepped in instead. Oh, it looks like Emily is dancing with Evan. He probably asked her to dance, and she's like, okay, don't trip, don't trip. Don't trip, don't trip. Is Henry still? Oh, oh, what do you do? Oh, wait, no, don't play in the trash. Okay, all right, no more gambling. You lost some money already. You do have a lot of money, so it is okay. Okay, so before it ends, we have to decide who we want to ask out. We have a whole series to go on some journeys, but because Ella, would you stop dancing with your daughter, please? Let her dance with some other people. Okay, but because Lady Ella asked King Henry to dance first, I'm gonna have him ask her first. So maybe we'll do a chaperone date with them in the next episode. Romance ask to dance. But how does Ezra feel about this? Did she have her eyes on anybody else? He's literally asking out Ella in front of her. Like, look at this. this we're getting the view. We're getting this view. Oh, also, hello. I didn't even realize. What couple is this? Lady Eliza and Lord Louis. Okay. Okay, he's... He, between the dancing, Henry is, is flirting with Ella. Are they, wait, are they gonna dance again? Are they gonna dance with each other? They just curtsied and bowed towards each other. Oh my gosh, are they gonna dance again with each other? <gasps> they are! They're dancing again with each other! Wow! Did I ask him to ask her to dance? I just forget that. Flirt with fan. Flirt. Can you guys flirt while dancing or is that not a thing? Their relationship is going up a bit more. Affection. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's, oh, he flirted with her. He flirted with her. Is she flirting back? Oh, they already have, the, wow, he flirted like, okay, well, I guess they've been dancing, but he flirted like once with her and they already have some romantic interactions going. Ezra, how are you feeling about this? I am so curious. Bre Wait, she had a breathtaking dance. Sometimes a romantic dance can leave a person breathless. She felt breathless from her dance with Prince Henry, and now he's dancing with someone else and about to go on a chaperone date with someone else, snobbily surrounded. Is she a snob from Snob Trait? Snob Sims love to be in the presence of other Snob Sims. <gasps> Oh my god, what is happening back here? Why are y'all arguing? Who? Who? Lady Adeline. One of the ones who tripped and spilled something all over her dress. Is she mad that it wasn't Princess Emily? Are you arguing with a princess? Oh my god, she is catty. She is being catty. Oh, whoa. Emily is feeling flirty. A romantic evening from coming out ball. Princess Emily is now one of the ton and is filled with flirtation thoughts, even though she's unflirty. That's a lot. Okay. Witnessing crass act. <gasps> who? 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 Who did? What did you witness? Who did? Who? Oh my gosh. Also, Lady Adeline is feeling confident. She is confidently arguing with the Princess of Windenburg. All right, we got a silver for a successful ball. There is an easel waiting in your Sims inventory to celebrate the occasion. Okay. Okay, they've stopped. Emily is being the better person and walking away. Wow, she got so mad that she's cleaning. She <laughs> 
she got so upset that she's cleaning now. Now that the ball is over, there is one quick thing we are going to do. So if you are familiar with Bridgerton, you know that Lady Whistledown is a huge part of that story and we have our own Lady Whistledown. However, we have changed the name thanks to my friend Anya. She helped me edit the strings. And thank you to Serenity for suggesting this name. So the name we went with is Lady Yapsalot. We are going to read Lady Yapsalot Society papers. Dearest readers, the time has come to place our bets for the upcoming social season, which meddling marriage-minded mamas will succeed in their quest to capture a suitable match for their offspring. What eligible young debutante or bachelor will capture the eyes of the ton? And best yet, what scandals might this season yet portend? Let it be known, dear readers, that if there is gossip to be had, I am sure to uncover it. So in the next episode, we're going to see what kind of suitors present themselves. And then we will also see with Henry, he is thinking about asking Lady Ella on a chaperone date. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what's going on with Ezra too, because she was left breathless from her dance with Henry. And we'll see what happens with the other royals as well. But if you enjoyed this first episode of our Royal Regency series, hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for some more episodes and turn on your notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!